inspired to do a little shop my stash because there are things that I just don't use very much and I don't want them to go bad or anything like that. So I decided I would go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go through each of my drawers here and I'm going to kind of speed through so you'll see me messing with them for a minute. And then at the end I'll show you what I ultimately picked for shop my stash that I think I'll do like two weeks at a time just so I don't get burned out on the products. And um, But that way I'll be able to get some use out of some things that I haven't been using or that I want to use up. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some things to throw together for, like I said, I'm planning to do two weeks at a time with this because I know me and I'll get totally bored otherwise and it just won't work out. <laughs> but I have my little salty but sweet um, bag from Simply Southern, which I think is so adorable. I love it. The little pink tassel and I mean, look at glittery and how fun is this bag? So I'm like, this can be my shot, my stash bag. <laughs> I get excited about dumb things. But anyway, let me just go ahead and show you what I pulled real quick. Um, also, I did want to say I am not pulling lip products because um, right now for work, I wear a mask. So I'm only doing my makeup. Actually, today I have some powder down here, but otherwise my makeup's only done from here up. Um, so I'm not using like lip color and stuff besides in videos. So I figure I'll just pull, if I'm doing a look for a video, I'll just pull whatever I want for that. And also, um, with eyeshadow palettes, these are going to be ones that I'm using for work and stuff, but when I'm doing videos where I'm like doing a look from a palette, I can grab whatever I want. So these are kind of like my things that I want to incorporate for like my everyday when I'm getting ready for work, that kind of stuff. And also I pulled some face palette things that I do want to use in videos because um, I, like I said, I'm not doing face products for work, so this is my way to be able to use some of these for um, in videos too, so that I won't grab my normal I'll try using something different so that's what that's what we're getting into here okay so let's get into this first off I um, grabbed this touch and soul nor no problem priming water I've used most of it up I don't even understand this product it's very strange to me because it's so liquidy and I don't really know that it does anything <laughs> but I've been using it and I figured it's almost gone I might as well use it up and I can probably definitely do that within these next two weeks if I'm you know making sure to use it. And then I also grabbed this Too Faced Hangover um, primer also to have in there, which I've used quite a bit, but um, yeah, so I've got those. And then my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer is the only one that I, the only eyeshadow primer I have. Ah, I'm dropping everything. And um, so I'm just going to be using that, obviously. Um, then I went ahead and grabbed my, I haven't been using this for a while, my L'Oreal infallible pro matte because I've been using my Wander Beauty um, foundation in most videos and stuff so I figured I'd get back to this because I have a whole new one of it so I'm like I might as well get this tube used up and then I have my um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, concealer 
which you can see I've put a good dent in, but I would like to finish using up. So I'm pulling that forward. Um, then I have for powder, I grabbed my Juvia's Place powder um, in Sahara because I have not been using it and I want to use it. So I thought that would be a good one to pull. Um, and then for face products, I wanted to go ahead and grab this um, Kaylin. It's a cream like face palette. So to be able to do like contouring type stuff with that. Um, I, d I mean, obviously I won't do it when I'm going to work because you don't see that my face anyway. <laughs> but um, definitely for during videos and stuff, I would like to have that on and be using that. So that is for that. And then I also wanted with the cream product, I wanted some powder um, like bronzer and stuff. So I grabbed my butter bronzer, which I have hit lots and lots of pan on. So I figured I might as well work that down some more. And I also grabbed this um, little Pacifica palette and bronzed rose is what it's called. Rose and coconut infused blush and bronzer. So um, this had come in a, um, an Ipsy and I used it like at our church camp and stuff last year a ton. So I really do like that bronzer. So I thought I would use that up some more. And then um, for another blush, I have my Tarte um, and Quirky, and it looks like this. So I figured might as well keep working away at that one, right? And then my um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette from my cousin Debbie, because I think it is so pretty and so fun, and you can do so much with it. You It can be subtle or more funky, you know, and colorful. So I thought that would be a good one to have out and be... Um, putting on my face. But you know what? I should grab another one too that's just super subtle um, because, you know, sometimes you just want something subtle. Um, what the heck? I'll go ahead and do my Essence Pure Nude because like I said, lately I have not been like using any face products really. So, um, so there's that. And then I decided to grab out this um, Voluminous Primer. Like, I was using it for a while, but I didn't really notice it doing much of anything. But I'm like, eh, I might as well try to use it up. I don't want it to go to waste. So I have that. And then I want to finish up this Benefit They're Real. So those are for my mascara. And then for brows, I want to use up this um, Billion Dollar Brow Universal Brow Pencil. I do not think this is universal. It's kind of reddish, like a reddish brown, um, even on me and even with, like, the red hair. It's just... It's like darker than I want it to be um, and but I mean but I can work with it you know and then I have my um, the Sweat and Wild one that I still have quite a bit that's all that's left in it but um and it's got the spoolie on the other end so I love my elf brow pencils that's what I use all the time but I wanted to go ahead and try to use these up and my elf um, brow mascara in medium. I love this stuff. It just, because I get some like wayward crazy brows. So this is awesome. I love that stuff. And then um, for eyeliner, I chose this Lottie London um, Mocha. So it's just a brown um, liner. And I really only use these types of liners in my upper, like to tight line my upper lash line. Um, so I also grabbed out, I have not used this yet, but it is, it's the only black, I think it's the only black one. Oh no. I do have a few black, but I don't think I've used any of the other ones either. Um Yeah, I haven't. I I only have this other like the Smash Box Always on Gel Liner and Fishnet. But um Actually, I th I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for the little Smashbox black one. So, since they aren't retractable, I'm going to go ahead and try to use those ones. And then, um, for the lower lash line, I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. Um, I love this. It's been used a lot. But I might as well use it up and then get another one if I want to. But I figure for work, usually, I mean, I do... I do use um, colored liners sometimes in my waterline, but lately for work I've been feeling very uninspired and just kind of like throwing some makeup on like today, <laughs> and like I said, from here up. So I was like, I'm not going to pull colored liners, I'll save those for my looks that I record. So, And then um, 
Also this, the Brow Gale um, highlighter pencil, it's in gold and nude. So it's got this side, which I never use like to carve out my brow, but I want to try to use it in some videos and kind of just be a little, a little more extra with my brows maybe. And then the gold, I do like this for like um, inner corner highlight sometimes and stuff. So I figured if I had it out like this, I'd be more willing to, not more willing, more likely to grab for it. And then that's just my lash color, curler. And then my palettes will not fit in my little bag here. So, but um, I decided to grab four small palettes because, um, just because if I only grab like two palettes, I will lose my mind. Like I have to have some choice, but not too many choices. You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and grabbed my Maybelline Lemonade Craze and Soda Pop palettes because these are um, like summer palettes that I love anyway. And like, especially like this one to me is like such an easy grab to do a look with, like for work, super simple, but yet still really fun. I love the shimmers in these palettes, um, especially that lemonade one. And then the soda pop like this has just gives me a little more with like the purple and orange like that. And then um, my NYX Off Traffic palette which looks like this. So fun and summery. Give me some like bolder colors like that, which still have some real neutrals in them too, which I like. And so do these palettes. So I can do very neutral looks if I want to. So that was kind of why I was choosing those. And then my um, Nomad uh, Tokyo Harajuku palette because just because I want to use it more <laughs> and because it's spring and actually feels like summer here. It's like 86 here today. I worked earlier today and I, this guy was like, I hope you know you're missing all the good weather. Like, and he was actually being like rude about it. And I go, actually, I can't stand heat like this. So I'm just going to go home and go in the air conditioning anyway. And he's like, oh, <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, so there being a brat. Well, I'll just tell you, I don't even care about this stupid hot weather. But anyway, so here are my fun colors for that, that I want to get some more use out of. And then that gives me some more of like the fun with the, um, multi-chromes and stuff like that. So those are my products that I chose for my shop my stash for the next two weeks. So when you see this, actually, I'll probably already be, well, I will already be into it because um, this is probably going to go up on Friday. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of May. So yeah, you'll be seeing this on Friday. And so I'm going to start using these tomorrow for work. So um, so yeah, and then we're supposed to go camping June 1st through 7th. But our governor extended our stay-at-home order to June 12th. And um, so we're still waiting to hear from the campground that we're supposed to be at because it's privately owned. And I think they kind of have the choice, but they've been they've been staying closed. But they were supposed to be opening up May 29th because that was when the first day was supposed to be for people to be back at them. So we're still waiting to hear if they are going to be opening. So if we're going to be able to go do that or not. But I thought these would be great things to take with me camping too because um, I still do. Yes, I put on makeup every day when I camp. I can't help it. It's just me. <laughs> um, I don't put like a ton or anything. And I might actually throw like a CC cream or something in. Um, or a BB cream. Something along those lines. But um, I like to put a little eyeshadow and stuff on. Nothing major. But yeah. So I don't do like a whole lot of like foundation or anything heavy. Because we're usually in water of some sort or something. So. Um, but I always like to have a little color. A little you know mascara. Something like that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to do this. I was feeling inspired about it and was like, you know what? This is a great way to have just a set amount of things in front of me each day that when I'm getting ready for work and stuff, it's like, okay, use these. Or when I'm getting ready to film, it's like, use these. And then, but I can use other fun palettes or, you know, and use my lip products and whatever. Um, and so that gets me from being like, where I wouldn't like doing shot my stash. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I know some people are really into it and I've never been into it. I've always been like, why would you want to do that? <laughs> but now I kind of get it because I'm like, I have things I would like to use up or things I'd like to use more, but they get shoved down underneath other things and I just don't grab for them and I want to use my whole collection. So, so that is what I am using for these next two weeks and um, I will have to let you know how it goes. I only usually work three days a week, so that will help with this too um, because then I won't be so um yeah four palettes and like six days of work okay I didn't do very good there did I 
<laughs> but I, like I said, I have to have options, all right? And I like to mix and match some different palettes and stuff too. So let me know if you enjoy these types of things, what you think I should do differently next time. Probably less palette choices, right? Um, things like that, that could help me if it would make it more interesting for you. Or maybe this is just not interesting to you at all and you don't care and you're like, use your makeup however you want to. I don't need to know about it. Just let me know. Just let me know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.